What's going on guys, JQ back with Tech Creation. Check this out. This is the LifeBeam Bluetooth enabled smart fitness cap with a built-in heart rate monitor that's designed for runners. Let's see what this thing is all about. On the outside is your everyday casual hat. On the inside is your fitness companion. You'll find your heart rate monitor located inside front. So it rests against your temple. What's neat is the unit also transmits calories and cadence data depending on which app or device you're synced to. It packs Bluetooth 4.0 low energy, which consumes less power and ultimately can provide you with up to 17 hours of continuous use. If you factor that into a 30 minute run for three times a week, it'll last you well over a month on a single charge. So huge thumbs up for that. It's also compatible with Ant Plus, the technology that's found exclusively in most fitness devices today on the market. So you have that added versatility to pair with non-Bluetooth products as an option. Now you can go ahead and pair this up with a variety of fitness apps like the popular Runtastic for example, as well as wearables including brand names such as Sunto and Garmin fitness watches. Sadly though, it doesn't pair with Fitbit, neither the app nor its devices. I was a bit bummed out about that, but I quickly got over it. Upon first impression, I did like the way it was packaged. You get a lovely traveling case to stow away your hat and prevent any potential damage, which I thought was nice. It even has an air pocket to keep air flowing through the case, even on a flat surface. It comes with some manuals that tell you how to turn it on and off, and also how to care for the hat. You don't really get anything else except for a micro USB charging cable, and that's about it. The material itself is weather resistant, so it's ready for outdoors. And it's actually designed to stay connected even in the toughest weather. So that's always a good thing. Although I haven't been caught in a storm or a tornado to test it out. Along the top, you'll find ventilation straps as well to keep your scalp breathing at all times, which is typical blueprint for a sports hat. And you'll also run into Life's Beam logo on the brim. It doesn't have any sort of firm hold. It feels sort of flimsy, like something you could pick up at a flea market. So essentially you're paying for the convenience of having a heart rate monitor attached to your hat. But that's good. This hat is not meant to go to war. It's designed with the runner in mind. Runners live by the idea of wearing lightweight material for best performance. So every ounce here counts. And in that respect, the design of the hat is perfect. Now in terms of size, it's a one size fits all with a Velcro strap fastening. But I guess my size wasn't included in the all part. <laughs> I have a pretty large head, and with that said, I had to practically open the hat all the way. I mean, I can even wear it completely open and it's still snug. So if this thing fits me, then chances are it fits you. I mean, but after a while, the material stretches a little and the tightness eases up. I guess it sort of works in my favor since it's important that the heart rate monitor maintains direct contact with your skin at all times. On the back of the Lifebeam Smart Hat is where you'll power it on by pressing the power logo and across from it is an LED indicator that lights up blue when it's active. And this is where things sort of go downhill for me. The power button is not only difficult to find underneath the material, but it also requires a little more force than I like to press it down. And that's because the logo is not really aligned correctly. See inside is your removable battery where upon closer inspection, you'll see that the LED light lines up with the transparent material just fine, but the power logo doesn't align with the power button. So it's nearly impossible to find it by blindly reaching behind your head without having to actually take the unit out. Oh, and uh, this is where you'll charge it via micro USB. And I went for some exercise outdoors to get my heart rate up and test its BPM accuracy because I did hear some great things about the hat. I did happen to have a Fitbit surge with me for comparison, which if you didn't know, is one of the more reliable heart rate monitors on the market. So to my surprise, it was almost dead on with the Fitbit surges beats per minute. It shifted here and there, but it takes a second to catch up over the Bluetooth connection. I was very impressed with its accuracy here. What wasn't so dead on was the calories. It seemed to be way off in comparison to the Fitbit Surge, despite the one minute difference in start time. So I wouldn't recommend the hat as a calorie counter. It's a heart rate monitor before anything else, so there's no surprise there. For that, it's something I can recommend with confidence if a runner's goal is to monitor their heart rate's progress. You can essentially use this with a fitness watch also because the hat does not have GPS. So that's another downside. It's not meant to replace your fitness watch, but rather more like an add-on. As for battery life, I charged it once, 
Not because it died, but just by forced habit. And I haven't charged it since. It's been two weeks. As far as cleaning it, do not throw it in the washing machine. You do want to wash it by hand as per instructions. But before you do so, remove the power unit from the Velcro and you're good to go. All right, so this comes in the form of a visor and a helmet. And I personally think the helmet looks pretty cool. Now, of course the prices on those vary, but this particular hat here retails for 108 at the moment. And I'll drop a link below in case you or a friend might be interested. So now if you're trying to justify the price, personally, I've seen a lot more expensive heart rate monitors on the market. And I think for what this thing is, the convenience it offers, the accuracy, and the battery life, I think it's a win. Let me know what you guys think. Is this something you can see taking off in the whole fitness wearables arena? Feel free to drop a comment and let me know why or why not. Or if this is something you can see purchasing yourself. As always, I'll be sure to drop a link in the description in case you or a friend might be interested. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel for weekly material if you haven't done so already. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week. Peace.